Hey everyone, John Wertheim here for SI.com. We're lucky enough to be joined by a special guest today via Skype, 13-year NBA veteran. Even more impressive, he was named one of Time's 100 most influential people in the world, Jason Collins. Jason, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, thanks. We're, we're talking today because people are going to be reading a special announcement you made in this week's Sports Illustrated. You've done this drill before, but this announcement is uh, a bit different. Why don't you tell us what you want to say? Well, to put it uh, short, that I am uh, officially announcing my retirement uh, from the NBA. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, as we speak, I'm watching a, a college basketball game, but I think it's, uh, it's time for me to uh, truly become uh, uh, just a fan and uh, watch from the sidelines now. What, what made you reach this decision? Well, there are a couple factors. Uh, the biggest one, though, was that my body was talking to me. My body was telling me that it was time. I think as older generation can understand is when you wake up in the morning and it feels like uh, like starting an old car. <laughs> and um, I'm with my low back, my knees. Just uh, it, It's one of those t things that uh, my body was letting me know, as it does with so many other professional athletes. You know, father time is undefeated and uh, it's time. Father time is undefeated indeed. What, what does it mean to finish your career with the Nets, which is obviously the team that you played for in the beginning of your career? Yeah, it'll be special going over to the Barclays Center and making this announcement uh, over there. And uh, even more special uh, for me is that Jason Kidd will be there. I mean, the entire Nets organization uh, has been incredible throughout my career, especially uh, last year. Uh, but also with uh, Jay Kidd, you know, coaching with the Milwaukee Bucks and uh, his first night there back in Brooklyn. Uh, hopefully I can be a peacemaker, <laughs> although it'll be a fun game. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how it all goes down over there. You played 13 years in the league. You played in the NBA Finals. You had a reputation as being one of the best defensive big men. And yet, mm -hmm. I, I suspect you would agree that uh, the top line on your on your sports resume is is something different. How how do you feel about your perception and obviously being the the first uh, active gay team sport athlete to come out during their career? Yeah, um, you know, people have been you know putting labels on me my entire life. You know, there's you know I identify with all that makes me unique, all that makes me who I am. Uh, and yes, my being gay is part of that. But uh, when it c comes to basketball, all I always think of myself as a, a good teammate, a great teammate, uh, first and foremost. Someone who always uh, sacrificed individual success for the, for the sake of the team, and that's what it should be about. It should be about winning basketball games, and over the course of my career, I've been on teams, um, 10 of my 13 years in the league, my teams have gone to the playoffs, um, including twice going to the finals, you know. Once upon a time, earlier in my career, I was a starting center in the NBA Finals, going up against Tim Duncan and David Robinson. Um, and it, it's impressive to see, you know, some of those players still playing in the league. Um, but for me, it, it's time for me to, um, you know, step aside. And uh, but I'll still be um, in the world of basketball. Um, I have a new role with uh, with the NBA as far as being an NBA Cares ambassador. Um, going around participating in different uh, community outreach programs. Um, I'll be supporting current and uh, former NBA players and encouraging kids and families to um, you know, keep an active and uh, healthy lifestyle, um, something that is uh, very important to me. So the spring rolls around, you've stayed in shape playing tennis, and the, the Nets are in the <laughs> playoff hunt, but they suffer an injury, and they, they just so happen to need a backup seven-footer. Are you... <clears throat> going to take that call, and any, any chance we'll see you in 12 of 14 well, postseasons in your career? I think watching the, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers with their interior defense, you know, it might go. be a Cavs car. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, I, think, I, I think I'm good. I'm good right now, uh, the way that my back is talking to me. But it's interesting because, you know, I'm st obviously I'm a, 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 a fan of basketball, and, uh, you know, it's fun just to, to watch the game and then also, you know, put on my commentator hat every now and then and, and, and think of like, oh, man, if I were playing or if I were coaching, if I, you know, I would tell, do this, say this. And, and, you know, I get to vicariously live through my twin brother, Jaron, uh, who's now an assistant coach with the Golden State Warriors, and they're off to a, a fantastic start. So the Warriors, uh, outside of the Nets, uh, the Warriors are my, uh, 
my next favorite team. Uh, and it'll be fun to watch and to, you know, live vicariously through my brother in, in that regard. I think the Warriors might be winning more games than the Nets this year. But, uh, Jason, that's, that's great. Thanks so much for joining us. We enjoyed your piece this week. We enjoyed your piece 18 months ago, and we're all looking forward to seeing what you do in your post-playing days. Thank you very much. Thanks for having Thanks. me on. Take care. Thanks, Jason.